Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make homemade salt crystal. Salt crystals are formed when a saturated solution undergoes evaporation, leading to the organized deposition of solid particles into a solid lattice structure. The process begins with a solute, such as salt, dissolved in a solvent, such as water, to form a homogeneous mixture. As the solvent evaporates, the solubility limit is surpassed, and the solute particles precipitate out in a repeating geometric arrangement. Characteristic of crystalline structures, the rate of evaporation, temperature, and surface area influence the size and shape of the resulting crystals. The only thing that you need is hot water and salt or sodium chloride. The first step is by putting around 3 to 4 spoons of salt into the bowl filled with hot water. Then, stir the hot water and salt until it completely dissolves. Lastly, transfer the solution into a plate and let it dry under the hot sun for 6 hours. This is a solution after 6 hours under the sun. This is them after 12 hours under the sun. The morphology includes cubic or square shape due to the arrangement of sodium and chloride ions. The surface of the crystals are smooth and transparent and the crystals are generally colorless or white due to the purity of the salt. The water in the solution evaporates at a steady rate, which controls how quickly the crystal forms. If the evaporation rate is consistent across the surface, the growth condition for all crystals are similar, leading to the crystals of nearly the same size. The salt crystal is a face centered cubic or FCC structure. It has 4 atoms per unit cell and it has 12 nearest neighbors. What is APF? The atomic packing factor or APF is a measure of how efficiently atoms or ions are packed in a crystal structure. It is defined as the ratio of the volume occupied by the atoms in a unit cell to the total volume of the unit cell. The formula is volume of atoms divided by volume of unit cell. There are 4 atoms in an FCC unit cell and thus, substituting the formula, the APF is 0.74 or you can convert it to percentage to 74%. Beside the FCC crystal structure, we also have BCC and also HCP. Every structure is different from each other. The firstly, ATPF or Atomic Packing Factor of ACC and HCP is similar which is 74% while BCC is 68%. The number of atoms per unit cell for FCC is 4, BCC is 2 and HCP is 6. The ductility of FCC is high, the BCC is moderate and HCP low to moderate. The packing efficiency for FCC is the highest among cubic structure and lower than FCC and HCP for BCC and HCP is equal to FCC. The, the thermal conductivity for FCC is very high while BCC and HCP has a moderate thermal conductivity. And the electric conductivity for FCC is also high while BCC is moderate and HCP is low to moderate. The advantages of FCC structure include it has high ductility. This means it can deform easily without breaking, making materials more flexible. It can also become stronger under stress without losing formability and it less prone to breaking under stress, making it safer in high stress environment. Secondly, it is also very strong. The high packing efficiency, it shows that 74% of the volume is filled with atoms, leading to stronger and denser materials. It is strong and resistant to fracture, thus it's suitable for structural application. Lastly, it has good thermal and electrical conductivity. It is efficient heat and electricity transfer. It is ideal for electronics and wiring. 
other than salt crystal, there are few more FCC structure material such as gold, bronze, aluminium, brass, silver, and platinum. These materials are widely used in our daily life due to their characteristics. I hope you guys try the experiment at home and thank you for watching.